In this video, we will be discussing the BNSF yard rules and what is considered a violation at their yards. Please note, violating their rules can result in a ban from the yard, and it can become a permanent scenario if you are a repeat offender or if your single bad decision is dangerous enough that they believe it warrants a lifetime ban. If you're new to the BNSF, this will have some great information for you. If you've been doing this for 20 plus years, it's always worth having a refresher of the rules. First, anyone inside the ramp must comply with any reasonable request of an agent of the BNSF, or you can face removal from the property permanently. So if the ramp personnel wants to see your license or talk with you, you must comply with their directions. In addition, being disrespectful with anyone at the ramp or cursing at them will also get you banned from the ramp, and there's a good chance you will need to find another truck driving job because no one tolerates that kind of behavior. Rule number one, pulling through a parking stall. This should never happen anywhere because no one can predict this activity since it's illegal everywhere. You also cannot see traffic from either direction if there's containers on the side of you as well, so it's very dangerous. Rule number two, failing to stop at a stop sign or a stop bar. Rule number three, failure to obey posted signs in the yard. Rule number four, going around crossing awareness devices. Rule number five, going around awareness personnel at a crossing that is blocked for train movement. Rule number six, failure to yield to yard equipment. Rule number seven, speeding. Speed limit in the yard is 20 miles per hour. This is like that for a very important reason. You need time to react as the railroad has a lot of activity with other trucks moving in and out of stalls, so you should be defensively driving and keep your speed below 20 miles per hour. Rule number eight, moving work zone protection. For example, a cone. If something is in your way, you cannot simply move it. Talk to the ramp personnel. They put it there for a reason. Rule number nine, following the crane path. Rule 10, seatbelt must be on inside the ramp. Your seatbelt should be on any time your truck is not in park. Rule number 11, your headlights must be on inside the ramp. Rule 12, using incorrect lane at the entrance. For example, don't use the bobtail lane if you have a container on your back. Rule 13, leaving the scene of an accident. This includes an accusation of an accident. If you don't feel you didn't have an accident but are being accused, always give your information and make a statement. Contact dispatch. You cannot simply drive away from the accuser. Rule 14, not following J1 in-gate instructions. Take the container where the J1 tells you to. If it has a spot, put it in the spot number. If that spot has something else in it, contact ramp personnel. A smart idea would be to document for yourself. Who did you talk with? What was their name? Maybe take a photo of the container that was in the spot. Get a photo that helps identify your spot was full. Rule 15. Your cell phone usage must be hands-free. Rule 16. Pushing the in gate out gate open. Rule 17. Driving under spreader without the operator giving you permission. Rule 18. Exiting your truck during a flip. Rule 19. Blindside pullouts from parking stalls unless there is no other option. And Rule 20. All drivers must have a valid driver's license and present them upon demand. 